to hang up now. I'll call you back later, okay? Hi! What men? Why are you so late? I'm tired of the children. They are making me mad. Come, come, let's run inside. I told you I need at least 15 characters, right? What can I do? Only these many turned up. Nobody wants to do a Christmas play. They only want happening plays, it seems. What rubbish. I'll call them and then see how they come. You see, that is why I don't like to put my child in these activities. And there is so much of time waste. Every time, everywhere, the same story. Waiting for others, waiting for husband, waiting for in-laws. Wait, wait, and wait. Hi, may I speak to Lavina? Yes, this is Anna, her Sunday school teacher. Lavina, why aren't you in church for practice today? What? Array, I have an important role of Mary for you in mind. What? No, that's not boring. Please, now enough of this talk on phone. And let me know how soon you can get to the church. Good, I'm waiting. See these children. Some of them are still sleeping and some are tuitions. And they all said they were coming, no? And this madam, she finds the play boring. Anyways, let's get started. Where is Steven? Anna, I was wondering, that what if I wrap some stones together to make it look like baby Jesus? Wouldn't that be innovative? Steven, please avoid being too innovative. In the whole of this parish, can you not find one doll to wrap up? Please, do not talk all this rubbish with me. Let's stick to the regular stuff only. And yes, since there are a very few children, I shall be removing one shepherd and maybe a king also. King? How can you deduct a king? There were always three. You do as told, alright? That is why I always be following orders. Nobody wants to listen to me. Wait, just let me get a job. Then all these people will come running next to me. Steven dear, do this now. Steven dear, give an idea now. Welcome, welcome. You guys need a special invitation, right? See the choir. He's all ready and waiting. Come on now. I promise father that this time it's going to be something special. Come on, let's start the practice. Okay. Now, who wants to be Joseph? Anybody? Okay. Let's start with Mary. Who wants to be Mary? Teacher, she says she wants to be baby Jesus. <laughs> Enough of this musty now. Please, let's get serious. We have just one day. Okay, now you will see, you be Mary. And you, Sheldon, you be Joseph. Stand up, you two. You guys are the shepherds. I love being the shepherd. You know, when I hold that stick, I wish that I was a real shepherd and my father was a sheep. <laughs> but why? Then, with 
that stick, I would beat him up just as he beats me every day. <laughs> but why does he beat you? You get such good marks? Yeah, but my dad is never satisfied. For every mark lost, he loses his school. And then you can imagine what happens when I get less than 95%? Oh God! Now you sing Gloria. Gloria. No, not you. You, you sing Gloria. You sing good. Now you can be the main angel. Yay, will I get wings? Now, who's remaining? Ah, now you three, you be the three kings. You know I feel the only king who existed was King Mambo of the Jungle Beat. Who else would want to look like a joker with that crown on their head? And I don't know why I have to be the king always. Miss, can I be something else? No. Don't worry. We will all get teased together. We are there to give you company. Here comes the King Mambo's crown. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, here are your crown. Take care of this. It has taken me a lot of effort to make them. Give it to those boys over there. Now, Alisha, you be the narrator and let's all start reading. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, begin the story of a baby that most of you should know. His daddy's name was Joseph and Mary was his mom. This baby was so special. He was God's only son. One day, an angel appeared to Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace. A child you will bear who will start a new race. But how will that happen? I do not know. But I say yes, Lord, and my loyalty will show. And so through my life, your law, I will follow. Mary rode a camel and Joseph walked along while the angels watched from afar, celebrating in song. When they arrived in Bethlehem, the couple was turned away by the keepers of the inn, telling them of no place to stay. This is holiday season, you see, so expect no help from me. If you would have come a few minutes before, I would have given you a room for sure. A room to stay, I cannot share, but a place I have, if you dare, next to my hotel is a stable with no bed, chairs or table. Some angels came from heaven and they began to sing to the shepherds in the fields below glad tidings do we bring. The word of king's arrival soon spread very fast. The angels told the shepherds that a saviour was born at last. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a chance to see you first. We are a nobody in this world, and for recognition we thirst. You choose us to be with you and give us this honor. We thank you, Lord, once again for making our lives renew. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
Well friends, I hope you enjoyed watching this. You know the most wonderful and surprising thing is that even after 2000 years, this simple story of a baby's birth still brings inspiration to us. And the best part is that not only does the babe inspire us, but also the others in the story. Take for example, Mother Mary. How her simplicity and acceptance of the trials and troubles of life inspired the parent who was also going through trials and troubles in her life. Or the shepherds, the fact that understood the value of God's plan inspired Stephen to comprehend his importance on this earth. This picture, though simple, is so intense and inspirational and has a direct connection with each of us watching it. As we sail through our life and go about doing our day-to-day -day chores, let us glance to this picture. Everyone is handpicked by God to be there and to be a part of this turning point in history. Whoever was there was glad to be there in spite of all other commitments and excuses that could have been made. They were there without realizing what a huge plan they were taking part in. God has the same plans for us. How are we going to take part in it? Are we going to be bystanders? Or are we going to take part just because we are there? Or are we going to be happy and enjoy about every little opportunity God gives us and make the most of it? Look at this picture again, my friends, and open your eyes and ears and see what it is telling you. Yeah.